Okay, I have my Silhouette Studio open and I have the design that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be placing this on a beer bucket. Um, if you're looking for something new to add to your shop, beer buckets are great sellers for the summer. Um, so the size that I need to make it um, is five inches tall. We'll go right there. Now, as you can see, this is multiple colors. So um, it's going to have to be layered and I'm going to show you right now how to cut by color. It's already selected. So right here, there's three different options um, that you can use when you're gonna cut. Um, to cut by color, you're gonna click on fill. And then whatever color has a check mark in the box is what it will cut first. So I'm going to leave it um, with black being cut first because that is my base color. And I am going to load my mat with my black vinyl and then I am going to hit send and then I will be right back to show you how easy it is to select the next color and get that cut as well. Okay, now that the black um, design is cut, I'm going to just unselect it right here and then I'm going to select the next color, which is maroon. I'm going to now load my maroon vinyl on the mat and um, feed it to the machine so that the maroon can cut now. now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect that and then I'm going to select the white and do the same thing I'm going to load my white vinyl onto my mat and send it to the machine to cut I'm sure you guys get the point now the white is already um, cut so Uncheck that, check the yellow, which is our last layer, and then I will show you how to piece it together and put it on the bucket. Okay guys, I already have everything weeded and I have um, the bucket that I'm going to be putting this decal on. I've already cleaned the surface where I'm going to be applying it with rubbing alcohol um, to ensure that it's clean and um, to make sure that the vinyl adheres properly. So I already have all of my pieces weeded, as you can see, all four colors. And I like doing it on my mat so that it holds it in place for me. And I've already cut my Craftables transfer tape to size to help me. So what we are going to do is place each layer on one by one. I would layer it on this one and then apply it to this, but I'm afraid I'll get bubbles in my vinyl if I do it that way. So we'll just do it um, layer by layer. So I'm going to do my base layer first, which is the black layer. If you're wondering, this is the mascot of the high school I went to. I grew up in Colton and um, everyone from Colton loves their yogi. So let me go ahead and apply this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see how I'm doing this. try and make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. That looks about centered, I hope. And what I like to do is I pull my transfer tape at an angle. to make sure that the decal stays on. There is the first layer. Let's go ahead and do our next. We will do the white next.
here, which will be the maroon. lines up properly I did the top part first and now I'm gonna um, apply the, the last part okay and it is complete um, like I said if you're looking for a new item to add to your shop for the summer or if you just like making yourself um, DIY things to use during the summer these buckets um, are awesome fill them with ice add some drinks in it and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful.